Okay, we are now back into what we need to get done for um, session two. The first thing I'd like to do is go ahead and focus us in on posts versus pages. I talked about that briefly. For your content in the instructional design course, all of your content will be pages. We might play a little bit with posts, but for the most part, we won't use them. So I'd like you to go under the posts area. Notice that there's a sample here, and I'm going to go ahead and click on that one time. Click on the drop down under bulk actions and click on move to trash. Now, do I have to get rid of it? I'm going to go ahead and click on apply. Do I have to actually get rid of it? No, but I happen to like to keep things nice and neat and figure out what I'm using and get rid of the things that I'm not. So in order to delete it permanently, I'm going to click into the trash area and I'm going to come over here and click on empty trash. Now that gets rid of any of our posts. Let me jump down here to comments and talk about comments super quick. You should not have any default comments in here at all. However, if you do, you can go ahead and delete them the same way. Since we've shut off all comments, you shouldn't have to worry about checking these and we certainly want to just get rid of anything we don't need. Next, I'm going to go on to pages, which is where our heart is. Uh, WordPress installs with a sample page, but because I want to start over again, I also want to show you one more time how to delete a page. Instead of reusing this, which I could certainly do, I'm going to go ahead and click on this and click on move to trash and apply, and that's going to get rid of that page. Once again, I happen to like to get rid of the trash, empty trash, just so I know that the content I have is the content I need. So. I'm back here in pages. Now I need to create a new page and I'm going to come up here to add new. And this page is going to function as our home home page. So I'm going to call it home. You can add the exclamation point if you want to. And the content of this home page is going to be for our course. Now I have a template set up and you can certainly give uh, go and get this content. I will give you the hyperlink to it or you could simply type it. It's up to you. But basically this is going to be the layout of our course and where you will submit your work to me. The weekly exercises in module one is your first big chunked graded activity and that's going to be listed and broken down into the different weeks. Now remember that there are multiple sessions in each week but for our startup these are the two big pieces that I want you to post right here. In, under week one, sessions one, two, and three. So I'm going to highlight those and bullet those. Likewise, towards the end here under module two, under e-learning, I'm going to highlight those because those will be a subset of module two and I'm going to bullet those. Now, the page is done for the moment. I'm going to go ahead and click on publish. And one more thing we need to do is get WordPress to look at this as our home page. So we need to tell WordPress that the default page to start up is this particular page. That is always done under appearance. Actually there's a couple different places that we can do this but we're going to go under appearance and under our appearance menu we have customize which is where we're going next. And then over on the left hand side we have static front page. Now it doesn't really matter which theme you're running. You will get to change the theme here momentarily. But every theme has this notion of themes customize. And every theme has this notion of setting the static front page. So it's asking us do we want our page, our front page to be the latest posts or a static page. We have no posts anymore and we have set up a static page. So we click on that, we choose our, our home as our front page and it will kind of give us a preview over here. I'm going to click on save and publish and those are the only things you need to do for pages. I'm going to stop the video now. You go ahead and go do all of that and come back for the next